Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We've begun a new series focused on change your thinking. And today our scripture comes from 2 Corinthians 4, verses 16 to 18. Paul reminds us, therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. As I've grown older in life, I've found the value of focus, the value of focusing on something, particularly something that I believe I'm called to work towards or something that I believe is right and true and good. I think this is powerful when scripture suggests that we fix our eyes, literally center and steady our vision such that our eyes remain not on what is seen, not on all the chaos that at times is before us, but on what is unseen and eternal. One of the things I love about being in the sanctuary at Epworth is that the magnitude of the cross on the altar is so great that it literally carries the sight line up the cross to the center space. Sometimes when I have the rare privilege to be sitting in a pew, I find deep value in literally fixing my eyes on the center of the cross. That everything else would pale compared to that image, that focus, that reminder of the amazing love and goodness of God. We walk through times that are not only difficult, but sometimes just overly full. Overly full to overflowing. And it's so easy in those moments to not only get overwhelmed, but to get drawn into the details of every small challenge before us. And yet Paul reminds us that even when everything outward around us is wasting away, we can be renewed inwardly day by day, piece by piece by the sanctifying grace of God when we literally focus our eyes, fix our attention fix our hope, fix our belief on the eternal things that come from God. To me, that's never a call to ignore the suffering of others or never a call to disengage from the world around us. But it's actually a reminder of how it is that we can find the strength and the stamina to be present in this world without becoming so overwhelmed by what is before us. Craig Groeschel's book, Winning the War in Your Mind, challenges us to change the way that we think, and that in changing the way that we think, you and I might have the capacity to not only make it through each day with a little more peace and a little more joy, but that by changing our thinking, we might actually win the battle for peace and joy and strength within our own minds, which of course then overflows and impacts our feelings and our actions. It certainly is worth reminding each one of us that when our eyes are fixed on every trouble before us, when our eyes are fixed on all that is wrong and our hearts are dragged under and under and under, it's not a wonder that we lose the ability to continue. But when we fix our eyes on that which is of God, when we hold on in the middle of the darkness to the light that we believe in, there is an ability that we have to be not only sustained, but Paul says renewed day by day. Today, my desire for myself and for each of us is that we would be renewed, not because today is easy, not because all is right in the world, but because the grace of God has the capacity to strengthen us inwardly when all around us seems to be wasting away. And when we fix our eyes on what God calls, we have an extraordinary ability to claim the strength and the grace that God offers. God, we're grateful. 
We're grateful, first of all, that your love is eternal, that your presence is eternal. We're grateful, God, that you know the challenges of a world that is awash in suffering and need and injustice. We ask, God, that we wouldn't lose heart, that we wouldn't give the enemy a foothold to tear us down in discouragement, but that rather because our eyes are fixed on you, because our objectives and our goals and our uh, guiding light is eternal and not of this world, that we would be renewed day by day, that the thoughts in our heads would be thoughts that draw us to you, that bring our feelings to you and ultimately result in changed action. God, walk with us in the moments when we truly do lose heart. Pick us up, pull our countenance from the ground and remind us of who you are. When the momentary troubles around us feel like they will literally be water rising above our heads, Give us, God, an eternal glory that far outshines it all. And remind us again and again and again that where we look matters. What we hold on to matters. Where we focus matters. Change our thinking that our hearts would follow and our actions behind. In Jesus' name, amen.